Hey everyone, I'm doing this video on homemade beef jerky. I got this open country food dehydrator and jerky maker for Christmas. It's been sitting in the box ever since then, so I figured it's time to pull it out and make some homemade beef jerky. Um, it's pretty cool, it's got a little attachment. Oh, there's our kitty. <laughs> Hi kitty cat. It has a little um, tool that you can do ground meat as well. Um, it looks sort of like a, oh, you know, like a glue gun type thing right here. Put the ground meat in there and you kind of squirt it out onto these trays and you can make what appears to be like a, like a Slim Jim, kind of a more pressed together meat. And there is our kitty enjoying the packaging of meat. Get him off the counter here. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I've got three pounds of bottom round that I had the butcher at our local store slice up to about a quarter of an inch thick. Um, she was saying that that's about the best thickness for jerky. Bottom round is a good one around here. I guess a lot of people do uh, deer jerky. Um, second best choice, I guess, is bottom round if you don't actually have access to a deer, which I don't. Um, I do, but I choose not to go hunt them. Um, and then I'm going to go by the book that came with it for the marinade. And in the marinade, I'm going to do tomato paste, pepper, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, garlic. And it comes with this pack of jerky spice and jerky cure. Um, it seems like kind of a, a basic marinade recipe. You let it marinate for... Um, it says four to six hours. And then you can put it on the trays and start dehydrating. So let me open this up and I'll kind of show you the inside. It's got the fan on the inside of the lid. All the different temperature settings here. A little chart here that you can kind of go by the temperature. The cat's trying to play with the cord. Um, and it has these removable trays. There's one, two, there's four different trays. Um, they stack on top of each other and then the, the top unit with the fan kind of rests on top of it all. There's a little drip tray here on the very bottom to catch any of the... Sorry about that. Battery just died. Uh, juice drippings here on this little drip tray and then there's the very bottom. So it seems pretty cool. Like This all just stacks up. You can buy extra trays and stack on top of this and make it up to I think six high or maybe eight high I think it said you could go to. Um, this is four high. You know, and it's, I don't know, it's a pretty decent thickness. Um, I think you can do quite a bit at once. I'm sure all this three pounds of meat will fit in there, no problem. Um, and then here's the top. It just sits right on top of here. You plug it in and turn up the temperature. There's no switch, um, so when you plug it in, it starts going right away. I just set it to the lowest setting on 95, and then what I'll be dehydrating at is the 160 degrees. Um, it said, oh, it was anywhere from, let me look, because, um, yeah, between 4 and 15 hours it's going to take to dehydrate, so basically all tomorrow I'm sure it'll be dehydrating and smelling up the house, making it smell real good. So anyway, just wanted to show you a quick little video about this open country dehydrator. Um, in case you're interested, you can kind of check it out. I'll show you kind of the process as I go through it. I'm just going to marinate it now and put it in these freezer bags. Um, nothing too fancy about that. And then possibly later tonight, um, I'll stick it in the dehydrator and get it started. I'll show you a little clip of how it looks in the trays and then when I turn it on. Hey, I just had to show you this. Three pounds of marinating bottom round roast. It already looks good and it smells really, really good. So I'm just going to pop this in the fridge for, oh, I don't know, four to six hours or so. Um, and then get it dehydrating. I just wanted to show you that. I wish you could see it in person. It's quite a sight to see. Unless you're a vegetarian and then they would probably be re repulsive to you. Um, anyway.
There it goes, in the fridge. Alright, so here is the marinated meat laid in the trays. I decided to leave it in overnight and give it a good long marinade. And then I'm going to be starting it first thing in the morning. Um, it's about 7.20 in the morning. Uh, but here's the first or bottom tray lined out with the marinated meat. And here's the second one. This piece here. There's the third one. Here's the top one. That's the last one. So, I mean, it smells really good. It smells kind of like beef jerky does. But we'll find out. I'm going to put a little bit of cracked pepper on the top layer here have just one with a little bit extra pepper. Um, a little bit pepper crazy. So I'm just going to shut this off for a second and put some pepper on and I'll be right back. Alright, so there it is with the extra pepper on the top. I don't know if you can see it. I put a lot on. And then now goes the top. Plug it in right over here. And like I said, there's no on off switch, so it just comes on. Put the setting on 160. And the fan on the top is just blowing hot air down through all these different trays. And so now it just sits between 4 and 15 hours, it said. So we'll hope it comes out good. Hopefully it'll come out good. And I'll come back when it's done. Alright, so here it is. It took about 11 to 12 hours altogether. And we ended up with all these pieces here. Through the day, me checking it and testing it to see if it was done, I ate probably at least six or seven of these. And then this evening we've had probably another six or so pieces. So it's this plus about 12 pieces. There's quite a bit there. Like, that's probably... Oh... All in all, there was probably two, maybe three, to possibly four packs like you'd buy in the store. Um, the ones that are, you know, like four bucks, five bucks a bag. And so we probably, I'm sure, was a little bit cheaper than buying them. Of course, you do have to figure in electricity and like the water it took to scrub the baskets that these were on, which was kind of tedious, so. When you factor all that in, I don't know, is it cheaper? Probably not. But it was good. It is good. And I would recommend the dehydrator if you're looking to get one. It seemed like it did a pretty good job. Uh, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed watching that. And if you're considering getting that, Go ahead and do it. I think it's a good buy. Thanks for watching.